Hallo Xbox Front Fans, wir sind in Köln auf der Gamescom, gerade bei Konami, haben uns vor wenigen Minuten eine Präsentation zu Pro Evolution Soccer 2017 angeguckt und neben mir steht Adam Betty von Konami, der mir jetzt noch die Gelegenheit gibt, ein paar Fragen zu stellen. Adam, what is new in the new pass this year? I think the question is what isn't new, because that would be shorter to answer, because we got, we've added so many new features, so many new things to the game, brand new modes. The focus has been really to really slow the game down. We've been listening to our fans a lot because what we've achieved with PES over the last few years is we've turned the perception around. People now love PES, respect PES and really enjoy playing it. Our fans are the most important thing for us to keep improving. So what they wanted is to make the game much more slower, much more realistic. So what, what, we, what we brought in was Real Touch. Real Touch is this new first touch system, which is focused on making sure that you're thinking about how you control the ball and then who you're controlling and then how you pass it. And that slows the game down. And the next big feature, I think, is the, is the goalkeepers. We've been really bold by saying that these are the best goalkeepers in any football game, but we strongly believe it because we've, we've reworked them in animation, movement, their logic, their, their new AI as well. So how they handle shots, they, they only parry the shots that they're supposed to parry, for example, and they catch what they should, but we still got the individuality. So the goalkeepers like Neuer who rushes out, there's Bravo from Barcelona who likes to uh, stay, stay on his line and more of a shot stopper. And we've really made sure that we rang true to why people love PES and that's the player authenticity. Um, on the content side, yeah. are there any new licenses, new teams? Yes. What's on this, this direction? Yes, yes, yes absolutely. Okay. Borussia Dortmund. <laughs> yeah, actually the first time Borussia has actually been here, uh, we're so happy to have them as well. When we signed Barcelona, which is another one that we signed, we announced that in July and we mentioned that we're going to sign more partnerships with, with the teams with a lot of her uh, heritage, a lot of history, uh, famous fans and things like that. And I think with uh, Barcelona, you, you had a team, a club which um, I guess has got a lot of meaning to the country as well because of the, of, of the way it's positioned and for us they are always you know they are the best team in the world in our opinion and we wanted to make a statement with our first signing but then ring true with our promise of signing more Borussia Dortmund is one that we announced at Gamescom it's a four-year partnership it's wonderful we're going to catch the players we're going to make the game fantastic But it also, I think, allows us to tackle the really big issue, which is licensing. You know, licensing in PES has now become the main issue. The main thing that people will knock PES for or why they won't play PES is because of the licensing. And we need to make sure that we are showing people that we're trying our best to overcome that issue. Borussia Dortmund is the announcement that, that we made on Wednesday. On Tuesday, we announced Liverpool as well. So that's three big partnerships. But we won't stop there. We've got a roadshow going in Latin America over the next few weeks and we're going to be announcing more partnerships with teams from Argentina and Brazil. And again, to show that we are a global game, a global franchise and we've got fans from all over the world. So, so many new things in the new PES, yeah. but what would, you, what would you love to have in the game which didn't make it? Are there any things? Do you know, that's a very interesting one. I've been listening to a lot of people and I think I can't wait until we really can look at maximizing hardware across the board you know uh, so not really with this PES I, I don't want to say that I wish we had something done in this PES obviously licenses is always nice uh, but I think going forward what my aims would be and what I want people to be assured in is that for the past few versions of the game we've always been shy of working straight away on the, on the new hardware so my ambition for PES and what we hope to achieve is Everyone has heard about the Scorpio. Everyone has heard about the PlayStation Neo. Um, we want to be making sure that we're working with these consoles. And Are you uh, already working, for example, especially with uh, the Scorpio? But no, we can't talk about that, unfortunately, whether we are or whether we're not. But I can I can tell you that we're very keen to keep to, to keep looking at this new technology, you know, whether it's the Nintendo NX or whether it's VR or whatever. We want to be where our fans are. So wherever our fans are going, we want to be there. And we want to make sure that we are using this, this opportunity with the new consoles to actually push sports games, to push PES as well, to make sure that we are overachieving when it comes to the technical side. You know, these new consoles will give us more power and new visuals. And can we keep pushing Fox? Can we keep making every year when you come and play the game go, wow, which we have been doing for the past two years and maybe we need to really up our game to keep doing it and maybe the, the answer is, is the new hardware. So certainly for me the ambition and the hope for us is to keep pushing new hardware and welcoming all these new consoles coming.
Last question. Why is PES better than FIFA this year? I think it's because we stay, we stay true to our values. When, when we announce our game, what do we announce? We announce gameplay. When, when, the, when EA announced features for their game, it's modes, it's licenses. And I think it shows two different ways of working. No way is the correct way. But in my opinion, we are showing that we truly understand football. We love football. And we really value the one key element, which is when you play the game, you feel it's like real football. Okay, thank you, Adam, for your time. Thank you. Das war's von Konami.